This report's incredibly important in understanding the true value of coal because it's the first time that anybody has looked at the coal industry on a global basis, taken the financials and painted a global financial picture of the coal industry. And I think from an investor's perspective, it's not necessarily a pretty picture. You see a very financially unsophisticated industry operating on cash flows. I think if I was an investor, I'd want to see an industry that's operating on financial return and focused on delivering a financial return to its investors. We see many parts of the global coal industry operating on a, at a loss because they, they are simply waiting for a higher coal price. They're struggling with current prices and with demand. And it raises the question, is this cyclical or is this structural decline? The climate for new investment in particularly thermal coal is challenging because of the major run-up in assets that's occurred over the last 14 years. You can see really from 2000 to now, uh, these companies have added over 200 billion in assets with over 70% of that relating to thermal coal. So, in other words, we have a situation now where companies have really, as, again, as Tim mentioned, been you know, building up, getting have existing mines, expanding existing mines, adding new mines, have all this capacity, and they've been doing this for a world where demand for you know, coal has been growing at 4% a year. Now, we've transitioning to a world where growth is flattening, potentially, on you know, the IEFA forecast to basically be flat to slightly down, but you have all this capacity. So, as a result of that, the opportunities to really develop new projects um, are severely diminished because you have this existing capital stock that needs to be run down before new projects can be developed. So climate for new investment is not great. In the last three years, the Japanese energy electricity industry has delivered some phenomenal energy efficiency gains. And when the world understands the magnitude of those gains, they'll actually start putting those into practice in their own country. Um, so the key finding really for the, the export market is to focus on um, production of coal that needs a, a coal price of $75 a tonne. Um, so it's really looking at this high cost coal going forward. Um, otherwise, you know, you risk investing in something that could become a stranded asset that has no, um, no future market and therefore the value is much lower than you were expecting. Um, so as a, you know, a prudent investor, you don't want to be putting money into things that, that aren't going to make you money in the future. So we're actually seeing quite a range of approaches that, that investors are taking, asset owners in Europe and Australia, as well as in investment managers of varying sizes. Um, and you know, very broadly speaking, I think there are, there are three approaches. Um, they're not mutually exclusive. And the, and the first is, is a measuring portfolio um, risk exposure. The second would be pursuing carbon tilt strategies. Um, and the third would be divestment. In my role as an analyst, the most important uh, finding from this report is that Thermal coal is not a growth industry. Uh, it's an industry that will soon be seeing its peak and begin to be declining. So when you're looking at value in companies, uh, generally you would look at what are the growth prospects and where are the most profitable investments. Uh, I think our report provides context for understanding that the number of profitable investments is shrinking and in many cases is about finding companies that are going to be returning cash to shareholders rather than spending that cash developing uh, potentially financially risky and unprofitable projects. Well, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to really help investors and markets think about the risks uh, uh, facing the coal industry over the next uh, 20 years, in fact, we go out to 2035, in relation to demand trends and supply trends and cost trends. So I think the report can be very helpful in hel helping people evaluate those risks.